here we have a beautiful example of a 2022 Range Rover Sport autobiography with an awesome supercharged V8 pumping out 518 horsepower. Range Rover is the ultimate in luxury SUVs and this Range Rover Sport is no exception. Very nice equipment of features. Still in almost new condition. This one has 2,782 miles. Time of making this video, a recent trade-in. You can even still see I've been taking it off. It still has some of the original plastic from the factory on the uh, infotainment screens. They still have the original plastic as well. Still some of the plastic on the center console. And then if you look at the uh, the kick plates, they still have the original plastic on them too. Still even has a twinge of that new car smell. So maybe if you're having a hard time finding a nice Range Rover Sport, a new one, this uh, lightly used example might be a nice uh, one to consider as well. Uh, very, very nicely equipped with features. We have a copy of the original build sheet. They're not all created equal. And obviously you have a lot of standard equipment on the autobiography of 100,500 uh, base price. But when you add in all the additional equipment, it goes up to $110,655. Uh, we have the as upgraded 22 inch nine split spoke gloss black wheels. They were $1,850 upgrade and they look absolutely beautiful. This lovely shade of Carpathian gray is a premium color, $1,550 extra for this uh, lovely shade of Carpathian gray. Uh, 22 way heated cooled massage front seats. The massage is actually meeting my back muscles right now and it feels very nice. $800 for that. Uh, 22 inch full size spare tire, $500. Power adjuster tailgate $100, heated and cooled front and rear seats $325, ebony morazine headlining $355, extended grand black veneer $410, front and center console refrigerator compartment $360, heads up display $1325, wheel protection pack $190, basic rear seat convenience pack $240, premium interior protection and storage pack $710, and that's pretty much the bulk of uh, the additional equipment on this one. So you have a beautiful, very high grade leather interior. Feels wonderful. Smells wonderful. Uh, nice big panoramic center. Feel out lots of natural light in the interior. And of course you have a power sensor sheet to dim things down if it gets too bright. There's that uh, cool little uh, <laughs> refrigerator right in the center console. Uh, I think there's uh, six different drive modes available on this one. Uh, they can range from different, you know, uh, on-road settings from sport or kind of luxury or uh, it has off-road sendings. A Range Rover would not be a Range Rover without amazing off-road prowess. Uh, even though probably most people won't take this beautiful thing off-road, it's probably one of the best out-of-the-box off-road vehicles in this class. So even if it might be some light off-roading to get you to your favorite you know, fishing, camping, hunting spot, uh, this thing will be happy to oblige. And with an adjustable air suspension, it will give you lots of ground clearance uh, so you don't have to worry about scraping some nice beautiful body panels or underneath the vehicle. Beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel, of course, it's uh, heated as well. Beautiful gauge cluster. Um, it's completely digital, but it has analog uh, style gauges left and right, and obviously you can have the map, di map display right in the middle. With well, a heads up display, it uh, puts, uh, projects important information like how fast you're going. We have a uh, traffic sign recognition right on the windshield so you don't have to look down off the road and be distracted. Of course, we also have a nice uh, parking camera as well. Uh, really nice, uh, easy to use infotainment system. So the top screen is for navigation, parking camera. Uh, the bottom screen is a tablet-like interface for operating, uh, you know, the seat controls. Uh, not the seat controls, sorry. The heated and uh, ventilated seat controls. Uh, the real seat controls are on the sides of the seat. Um, you can use this button right here to uh, either adjust your climate control settings or your heated, uh, cooled seat settings as well. Pretty straightforward. You can also make adjustments to your vehicle as well here. Uh, these are some of the different terrain uh, settings. We have, you know, snow and ice. We have a sand, gravel. Uh, pretty much every type of terrain is covered on a Range Rover. That's why they call them a Range Rover. <laughs> oh, uh, before I get too far away, let me rev the engine a little bit. This is probably one of the nicest sounding V8 engines you'll find on any vehicle. Nice raspy sound, not too loud to be obnoxious, but loud enough to enjoy it. Obviously, if you're buying a Range Rover like this, you definitely want to hear some of the amazing sounds that V8 engine makes. Uh, very quick with 518 horsepower. Also pretty good at towing. I think when properly equipped, the tow rating is uh, a tad under 7,500 pounds. 
And the nice thing about the air suspension in the lowest setting, which it is in right now, it makes entry exit really easy and also lowers the center of gravity for better handling in the corners. As you can imagine with such slow miles, this thing, like I said, is in pretty much near new condition. It still has some of the new plastic on it. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all with the condition. Here we have a, a nice coat hanger. Obviously these are removable. Hook over there. We have a four zone climate control. So two uh, zones for the front passengers, two zones for the rear passengers. And the rear seats are also heated and ventilated. Alright, decent amount of cargo space, so we have a cargo uh, protection pack, so you have a cargo mat to keep the carpeted part uh, nice and clean. Um, we have the carpeted floor mats. Let's take a look and see what we got over here. Looks like we got the uh, original first aid kit. We have a cargo rear cover to keep things out of prying eyes. Of course, this is also removable so you can fold down those rear seats for more cargo space. Uh, power outlet. This button right here actually allows you to uh, lower and raise the suspension. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but um, I'm hitting this button and I just actually raised it a couple inches. I, I don't know why you'd want to raise it, but if you have it in a higher setting, uh, lowering the rear suspension will make it easier to take stuff in and, in and out of the cargo area, so that's why they do that. There's those upgraded 22-inch uh, wheels, absolutely spectacular. And look at these massive brakes. This is just a hint of when you have something with 518 horsepower, you have to have the brakes and suspension to uh, live up to all that power and performance. And Range Rover definitely is not skimping at all on this vehicle. It has the uh, brake suspension handling uh, to, to you know match that 518 horsepower V8. There's no mistaking the styling of a Range Rover. Very distinctive, very nice. Um, and the nice thing about the Range Rover Sport versus its uh, full-size Brethren, uh, the regular Range Rover, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more geared towards on-road uh, driving. Uh, even though they're based off the same platform, they definitely have very distinct personalities. The Range Rover is definitely more towards the sporty end, where the uh, full-on uh, Range Rover, uh, the regular one, is more towards uh, geared towards, you know, uh, I guess off-road and just kind of more luxury type driving versus sporty driving like this one. We have complimentary delivery to Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. We can put this in our car hauler and tow it to you. And we can also ship it uh, nationwide as well. Unfortunately, that, can be, that can't be complimentary, but we work with lots of transportation companies and we have very competitive shipping rates. Contact us for more information and thanks for taking the time today to watch this video.